If we're going to point the finger, let's point it. We'll point the finger at the fourth quarter, collapsed every game that we had. Actually, you know what? We was It was 1 1, game two. We were up. We collapsed in the fourth quarter. They tied it up. We win game three. We go up 2 1. Right. We didn't win another game. So if we're going to, you know, we're going to play the blame game. Let's yeah. play it. You know, I wasn't out on the court. Was LeBron done. on the court in the fourth quarter? I don't know. You know what? He was, but he was. Hey, he, he was, but he wasn't. <laughs> what up, YouTube? It's your boy, So Crazy TV, back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we got 80 House, man. 80 House is sounding off on LeBron James, man. And a lot of people have been very critical of the Mind the Game podcast, man, where LeBron James, in their eyes, is changing history rewriting his own history man but we finna dive right into this man and what eddie house had to say y'all seen that little clip in the beginning of the video but we're gonna check that out man i appreciate y'all and i love y'all man wrote a 5k subs let's get it kind of blaming you eddie I'm, That's I'm, right. I'm taking it as he's talking about me yeah you talk about me brother <laughs> i'm saying those are the complimentary players on the heat that year my guy eddie house uh, that uh, year averaged 17 and a half minutes a game, six and a half points a game. I didn't get enough minutes. And shot 39% from behind the arc. Uh, so there you go. Those are kind but of horrible. Numbers. All these years later, almost 15 years later now, Eddie, and to think that you guys didn't win an NBA championship, not because LeBron didn't get the job done or Wade didn't get the job done or Bosch didn't, but you didn't. Okay, that's what, what he said. What I would say is this. Yeah. If we're going to point the finger, let's point it. We'll point the finger at the fourth quarter, collapsed every game that we had. Actually, you know what? We was, it was 1 1, game two. We were up. We collapsed in the fourth quarter. They tied it up. We win game three. We go up 2 1. Right. We didn't win another game. So if we're going to, you know, we're going to play the blame game. Let's yeah. play it. You know, I wasn't out on the court. Right. Who was on the court? The, the man saying that the other, other guys wasn't getting Was it LeBron done. on the court in the fourth quarter? I don't know. You know what? He was, but he was. Hey, he, he was, but he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so y'all heard what Eddie House had to say. Eddie House being a role player 2010-2011 for the Miami Heat when they went to the finals against Dallas. We know that LeBron James had one of the worst finals ever, right? We know that. He acknowledged that. So why are we playing, man? Why are we acting like he didn't acknowledge that? He acknowledged CB. He acknowledged uh, Coach Spostra, right? He acknowledged all of that. And he took the fault. He said, I played like ish. We know that, man. He said that. And I could replay it for you if you want to, right? Now, we're going to dissect what Eddie House had to say. He talking about how he didn't get enough minutes. He didn't play. Eddie House, we don't want to hear that, bro. You was on the bench. You wasn't doing nothing on the bench. Come on now. Now, LeBron James talked about the teammates, right? The core wasn't 100%. You know, the nucleus of the team. Now, they didn't have Shane Battier. They didn't have Ray Allen. They didn't have Norris Cole, who was hitting big shots, okay? That 2010-2011 team that LeBron James was talking about, they only had Mike Miller and Mario Charmers. That was a big role piece, Udonis Haslam, those players that I just named were the big pieces in the role players in 2010, 2011. Now, they didn't have Shane Battier, like I mentioned. They didn't have uh, Norris Cole, okay? Those are missing pieces. They didn't have Ray Allen, who's hitting big shots. So when LeBron James acknowledges his problem of playing bad in the finals, why are we still knocking this guy? Why, why are we still knocking this guy? And the funny thing is, Eddie House and his little podcast friends, right? They skipped over the fact that LeBron James acknowledged everything that happened in 2011. He acknowledged everything and he took fault for what happened. He said he played like ish. And Eddie House didn't mention that, did he? All right, then. Now, the Mind the Game podcast where LeBron James and J.J. Redick dive deep into the 2011 finals where J.J. Redick asks LeBron what happened. And I'm going to play that video for y'all, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Zero. I want to bef before we talk more spacing, I want to touch on one last thing with the heat. And that is. I feel like. In the NBA. The, the, 
the phrase super team or the, the term super team is, is a little bit, bit of a misnomer because you can have, you can have a big three, right? You still need four or five ancillary role players absolutely star in their role and then complement the stars. No question about it. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work unless you have those guys. It and does. you've lived it multiple times. I've lived it. I've lived it. I mean, obviously my, my first year in Miami, yeah, we had a big three. And everyone said it's a super team. Super team and super team net. But we had to build our team around all minimum guys, which was still okay, but we didn't fill out the complimentary guys enough. Yeah, we had Rio, we had Udonis, you know, but we didn't we didn't have enough as far as enough complimentary guys to actually make it all work. And we still made it to the finals. We still made it to the finals and we still probably should have won the finals, but I still give credit. You listen, it is what it is. You you win and you lose and we lost. There's no Dallas was good and they hit it they hit a stride at the right time. Dirk was unbelievable. Y'all heard it right there, man. What more do you want the man to say, man? What more do you want the man to say? And the key thing that y'all missed and Eddie House missed was they didn't fill up the complimentary players enough. He's not saying they didn't have them. He's saying they didn't have it enough. And all these videos surfacing, right? Y'all thinking the Mind of the Game podcast is for LeBron James to rewrite his history. Y'all are delusional, man. Y'all are delusional. That's all I got here, man. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all, man. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to donate to the channel. The links are in the description. If you want to become a member today, the links are in the description. And I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all for reaching for K subscribers we on a road to 5k let's get it y'all i appreciate y'all salute peace and love family